Last year was a tough year for me as, as a comedian, you know. Everybody was political. Everybody was mad at each other. I don't know if y'all felt that too. But, I mean, there was a real line between, you know, everybody. And people got really worked up, man. I mean, people would scream at me, Who are you voting for? Who are you voting for? I'm like, I'm having lunch. I'm voting for that coleslaw, okay? <laughs> I'm having a two-piece dark and some mashed potatoes. Beat it, dude. Robbie, who you vote for? Who you vote for? I guess Obama. Oh my God! I dare you vote Really? Really? Okay. He wouldn't shut up, okay? They would not shut up. They kept on hassling me. He kept on telling me how me voting for Obama was going to be the end of the world, okay? And I finally just realized this guy just hates black people, okay? If I just I can kind of run to it, he'll leave me alone. So forgive me, black folks, but I answered him kind of racistly when he kept on asking me, all right? He was like, uh, So, now that I've told you everything, <laughs> now the Constitution's going to end and the world's going to end if Obama gets elected, who are you going to vote for now? And I said, I guess I'm going with Darkie. <laughs> and he stopped for a minute and he was like, well, I don't like the fact that you said Obama, but he did say it racistly. <laughs> Fair enough, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> I just wish they would run to it, man, not away from it. But I love Obama, man, and congratulations, black people, on the election of Barack Obama as president of the United States of America. Thank you so much, congratulations. Right on. <laughs> Um, black folks, y'all gotta start tipping now, okay? Sorry. You had a good run. You had a good run. I ain't mad at you. I am not mad at you. 50 years of no tipping, that's a genius financial strategy, black folks. Genius. 50 years of no tipping, you easily save trillions of dollars as a people. That is amazing. Trillions and trillions of dollars. Sorry, black folks, you can't bitch about the man keeping you down when you're the man, you dig? You feel me? That's right. Miss Rosa Parks said so Dr. King could walk, so Barack could run, so your black ass could tip 20%. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All we are saying is give tea. I know there's a nice black folks in the back going, excuse us, Rafi. We were under the impression it was 15%. <laughs> and I say to you good folks, it could have been 15%. If black people would have started tipping in 1993, you could have got in at 15%. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, it's 2013. And inflation is a tide that rises all boats. Here we said right now, at 20%. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Latinos, got any Latinos in here? Latinos, make some noise. Oh shit! All right, TikTok, TikTok, Spicks, listen up. We get us an El Presidente. You Latinos could be looking at thirty-two percent on the end of your check. <laughs> I implore you Latinos to get in on the ground floor with these good black people at twenty percent. The money you save could be your own. <laughs> Asians, no need to rush. No need to rush. <laughs> What's funny is now the black people and the Latinos are laughing. Like, ah, that's cold, man. That is cold blood. I know it's a dick joke. Sorry. I'm an asshole. It's funny, though. It's funny. But that is the coldest part, that Asian part, that's the coldest part of that jug. That's the absence of hope. <laughs> Sorry, Asian, there's no way y'all ever be president. Stop it, knock yourself, stop. I do that jug, I'm gonna get hit with a ninja star one of these days. <laughs> I'd love an 
Asian president, man. Because we got drama in Asia, man. We got China. We got North Korea. We need an Asian president. Because our Asian president would look North Korea's president slanted eye to slanted eye. And let him know we mean business. He could assassinate people, he'd be a fucking ninja and a president. What? A ninja and a president? He been at a summit meeting. That'd be awesome. Are you shit me? That'd be great. <laughs> I guess I'm a dick, I'm sorry. 